so i'm assuming input prices are positive okay uh, subject to y is less than or equal to flk okay so let's uh, let's solve the short run cost minimization problem so let's consider the following production functions suppose flk is so what do you want which production function which production function do you want me to use now you have seen so many give me at least one Cobb Douglas, okay. Okay, so let's do this one. Okay. Okay, so minimize with respect to L, WL plus RK. subject to y less than or equal to l half a half okay now notice that i don't want to assume k is positive because if k is zero this problem has no solution because if you have no capital no matter how much amount of labor you hire you will never be able to produce positive amount of output so if your target quantity is positive level of output there is no optimal choice do you agree no matter how much you produce you will never make a positive quantity because capital is zero is that okay so that's a trivial case so i'm going to consider case where k is positive okay is this clear because there is no solution in case of k equal to zero have you understood this yes or no okay so suppose k is positive okay now let's see how do you solve this problem okay now notice that y is given k is given w is given r is given k is given and w is positive okay it's a single variable problem tell me what is the solution you just have to figure out the labor which minimizes cost subject to this constraint exactly y square by k very good okay so notice that this particular constraint can be rewritten as l is greater than or equal to y square by k do you agree can i write this constraint in this way i just square both sides take k on the other side and i'll get this yes or no okay now notice that as your labor increases your cost increases because w is positive so what is the smallest labor that achieves this constraint the smallest labor quantity that achieves this constraint what is the smallest amount of labor that achieves this constraint because you know the higher the labor the higher the cost you want to minimize the cost subject to this constraint so what is the smallest labor quantity that gives you that satisfies this constraint it's y square by k right so the solution is l equal to y square by k okay so what i'm going to do is because i'm choosing labor so i'm going to put labor on the horizontal axis okay and i'm going to put cost on the vertical axis and i want to minimize my cost okay so 
this is let's say y square by k since y is given k is given so i know the location of uh, y square by k okay so i can only choose in this region okay because my constraint is that l should be greater than or equal to y square by k the next thing that what i'm going to do is so i've already plotted the constraint the next thing that what i'm going to do is i'm going to plot the objective notice that the objective is when labor is zero then this is rk okay and then it's a line with slope w okay and since w is positive it's a line like this okay so that's your wl plus rk okay as a function of l note that r is given w is given k is given so it's just a it's just one variable uh, that you are looking at okay now in this region where is the cost minimum this is how the cost looks in this region where is the cost minimum at this point right that's the point where cost is minimum yes or no okay so learn to see the picture okay and then you will be able to do these problems very quickly okay like for example the moment you write the constraint the moment you see the objective it's clear that the higher the labor the higher your cost so choose the lowest amount of labor possible now constraint is this so the lowest amount of labor must be y square by k that's it is that fine okay so what is your short run conditional labor demand function it is a function of w r k y okay and it is equal to y square by k okay please note that in this particular problem it is a constant function of w and r okay so if you say that okay well, where is w and r in the right side right hand side they don't have to be there on the right hand side okay i mean they might or might not be there okay but you have to put them here the reason is because short run conditional labor demand is a function of these four things okay in this case it turns out it is just a function of output and the capital is this clear so it is a constant function of w and r you know that's how you can think about it like for example fx equal to 1 this is also a function of x but it's a constant function of x okay no matter what value x takes it always takes value 1 okay but still we are going to call it a function okay it's a valid function similarly this is also a function of w r k and y okay fine okay great so that's your short run conditional labor demand function so how do you get the cost function short run cost function so short run cost function is also a function of w r k y and it is equal to w times the conditional labor demand function the short run conditional labor demand function okay let me put an extra s here okay just to say that this is short run conditional okay uh, and this is a short run cost okay so this is what w y square by k plus r k okay so that's your short run cost 